Hey guys, I've got a huge source of traffic for you today. No one else is talking about this untapped traffic source. It is top secret. I'm going to run you through how to use it. Listen, I've not used it myself. I've just discovered it right now and I thought I have to share it with you. I've checked that it has got do follow links. This is a high authority website. I think the domain authority is something like 92. It's crazy high, right? So let's go have a look at similar web, see the traffic levels. It's insane. And you will be able to decide if this is the right traffic source for you. So here we are in similar web, the global rank. Look at this. This is one of the highest traffic sources I have ever shared, but no one is talking about it. So the global rank is 677. The global rank, uh, sorry, the country rank, the United States rank is 1,300. That's amazing, right? This is huge. Look at the traffic overview. We have got 52 million visits a month. Imagine that. Imagine if you get your content on the front page of this website. Imagine how much traffic is going to flood to your website. I mean, let's let's check it. So 50 million, 51 million visits a month down to 45 million, 51 down up again, 52 million visits a month. But where is this traffic coming from? So traffic by countries, look at this, 11% from the USA, then Brazil, India, China, Russia. That's okay, because the United States is top. That is the most profitable traffic we can hope to get. So let's have a look at the traffic sources. 54% is direct, 9% from referrals, 17% from search. That's a really good indication. And 15% from social. So this tells us that most of the traffic on this website is organic, which is the most profitable type of traffic to have. So we've got traffic from the USA and it's organic traffic at that. So this tells us that the traffic here is really profitable. It's really valuable traffic. Let's have a look at the search. So we want to see, okay, we're close. Of 17, of that search, for the, the traffic that comes from the search, excuse me, 17% is, is via search. So of that 17%, 99%. 98% is organic, so it's close to 100%. It's a really good indication. So 0.2% is paid, which is practically nothing when we compare it to this 99% organic. Good stuff. So let's go double check things in Rank 2 traffic. Look at that. Okay, so way back in 2009 we can see that it's got around it starts with 200,000 visits a month increases to a million continues to increase to 9 million in 2011 and then continues on this upward trend to 2013 which is 18 million then another massive leap in 2013, end of 2013 to 36 million, starts to decline a little bit. Now, let, let me say something about your own progress. I notice that a lot of my students who start to get traction, uh, obviously they're ecstatic with that, but what happens is some of my students, when they get this traction, there is eventually like a drop. And this, this is natural. It happens with everything you do on the internet. It's perfectly normal. This is a really good example of that. So here you can see things shoot up there to 36 million visits a month. And then it drops down to 25, 22 million visits a month. Now at this point around here, a lot of people, marketers, bloggers, content creators, will think things are going wrong. And they might be tempted to jump ship or give up or or try something new at this point. 
But as you can see, when we look at the bigger picture, what's happening? Things are, are actually increasing and they're going they're going to become better than before. So this little dip, we call it the dip. We all experience this. So I've actually been waiting to, to come across a good example of a high traffic website that can show you this in action. And I'm, I'm really pleased to have found it today. So you will see this kind of progress in your own business and your own website. And that's normal. But look, this website doesn't give up. They don't call it a day. They, they don't quit. They continue. They push through the dip and then they eventually come out better than they were before. Uh, 46 million visits a month. Imagine that. Imagine how much traffic that is. You know, a couple of days ago, I was at the O2 in London and there was 20,000 people there. I was looking at, at the 20,000 people. I'm thinking, OK, in terms of Internet traffic. Put, I, tr I was trying to put that into perspective of like if my channel at the moment has got around 130,000 views. So trying to quantify that. But if you imagine how many how many people that is 46 million people have visited this website in a single month and then climb up to 68 million in 2017. And then it comes down again. It looks like things are on the decline and they start to level out a bit here at around 50 million. But I'm going to predict that if we come back to this website in a few years, this figure of 50 million is is going to be dwarfed by the amount of traffic this site gets. So let's have a look at the last six months. So there you can see 50, 51 million down to 47 million visits a month. And it's pretty much a straight line. It's fairly consistent. So it's a good source for us. We can see that traffic, generally speaking, is increasing and it's increasing at a pretty solid rate as well. So let's go check out the website. It's a bit of an unusual one. You won't hear many people talking about this. In fact, I've never heard anyone in our industry mention this before, but I have to share it with you. So let's go to the website. This is called Behance.net. So B-E-H-A-N-C-E dot -E net. And it is for creative people, but don't let that put you off if you're not creative. I've got, I've got a strategy for you that's going to help you to, to really get results from this. So it's going to allow creative people and you, if you're not creative, don't worry, to showcase and discover creative work. So what I want you to to look at is the top navigation here. We can discover live jobs. So if you want to make some money, you'll be able to find some jobs there. We can sign up with email or Facebook or Google, which we're going to do in a few minutes, not just yet. But we've got a search feature here. Oop, accidentally click that so we can search by keyword. Let's go back to the home page. We've got a drop down menu here. So there's additional apps and services available. And you'll notice that this is by Adobe. This is from Adobe. So it is for creatives and uh, people who, who want to showcase their work. But don't worry, it's good for everybody. I'll show you how. Have a look at this. So we can choose how we view it. So best of Behance. I hope I. I'm pronouncing that properly. I might not be. I know some of my pronunciations aren't always on point. So we can choose by best of or look at curated gal galleries, creative tools, schools and organizations. But this is what I really want you to pay attention to. Have a look at the content here on the front page. So as you can see, it's all image based stuff, a little bit like Pinterest, right? So if we have a look at one of these, let's click on that. Go down. Where can we find it? Look at the views that this has had. So 4,622 views, 500 thumbs up, 32 comments. And it was published a couple of days ago. Not bad, right? 
I mean, if, if we just hover over the images, there we can see that this one has had over 2,000 views. This one has had over 2,000, almost 3,000 views. If we go down, 7,000 views, 4,000, 5,000, again, 5,000. So high traffic website. Lots, look at that, 9,000 views. Over 10,000 views on this one. But let me show you something else. So if we click this, notice something here. So this is a link. And this is another link. So these are two separate links. Look at this. If we go to inspect element, we can see that this link is just linking to the creator's homepage. And it is a do follow link. So this is going to pass a huge amount of link juice. And then if we have a look at the other link, it's pointing to a completely different website. Let me show you that inspect element. As you can see, it's a separate website. And again, that's passing link juice It is a do follow link. So just imagine how much traffic these websites are receiving from this free exposure. It's crazy, right? So how would you use this if you are not creative? Well, you can easily hire someone to create a piece of art for you that will get that has the potential to get featured here. So how do we use this site? So if, if we go sign up, I'm going to use the Facebook integration thingy. And that was a painless process, really quick and easy. So now it's asking me to pick one or more topics. And this will help us recommend creative work you'll love. OK, cool. So what am I interested in? Advertising. It's a no brainer, right? So I'm just going to go with no <laughs> with uh, advertising and then see my custom feed. Let's click on that. Now I can see examples of good adverts and look at this logo design. This one has got 31,000 views. Let's check this out. Look. That's amazing, right? Whoever uploaded this was very smart and they, they have put a link to their website and their email address there. Let's just actually triple confirm that we're getting do follow links here. So let's have a look at that again. Yep, there you can see that is a do follow link. Amazing exposure. This is one of the best traffic sources I have ever shared for free. It's not the best one. I keep the best ones inside the Traffic Secrets course, but this is a pretty good one too. So I'm going to assume that to post on this, we just hit create a project, loading project editor. This all feels very fancy. So we can upload files, add text, embed media, Lightroom photos. I actually have uh, Lightroom installed on my Mac. So maybe that will integrate with, with that really nicely. And this looks really nice. So let me just upload something there. So I've uploaded a funnel design that I did in Photoshop a while ago. So let's click continue. Oh, I can upload um, a cover image. There's just a random image I've just grabbed. It doesn't make any sense, but this is only for demo, right? So let's say traffic funnel. And then we can crop and continue. Let's do that. OK, so now we've got a few options. Pro uh, project settings, basic info. How would we? categorize this project. Let's have a look at that. So let's go branding. Let's just go advertising inside branding. Maybe let's go done tools used. Let's let's go to display. Not much to do there. Discoverability. So I'm going to assume that this is really good for search engines. 
So our project description, so I'm gonna say, let's say traffic, funnel, drive organic traffic to your site for free. And then digital marketing, blogging, can add up to 10, that's really generous. And then if we click publish, I'm not entirely sure I want to do that because I want to be respectful of this site and I don't want to publish anything just for the sake of publishing it. Uh, if this was a serious project I was working on, then sure. But at the moment, I'm not going to publish this because uh, I don't think it's right. I don't think it's ethical to publish it at the moment just for the sake of a link. So I want to want to publish something on here that is going to be of value to the community. That's really important. So as good as this is, and this is a really powerful traffic source, right? It is only one and we need multiple traffic sources to really grow a strong brand on the internet. So for that reason, I'm going to give you a free training course when you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic. That's going to show you how to get targeted traffic to your website for free. And if you found this useful, give it a thumbs up below, subscribe to the channel too, so you never miss another update from me. And I will hopefully see you again in a couple of days. Take care, guys.